the purpose of this demonstration is to show you how the client uh, portal is going to work on my right here is I have the actual customer facing client portal and on my left here is I have IQ reseller as well I'm going to start here on my left and work my way to the client client portal as well I'll show you how to set set up a client portal once this does get activated um, on your database the whoever has access to the IQ reseller admin portal page just like you do to set up and add users to your tenant as well you, you'll be able to do the same thing with the client portal as well so we're gonna click on the manage uh, the manage client portal up top here we have the client portal this is going to show you the assign the licenses of who has access to what, what portals down here at the bottom so we have the old, old clients right, right here and then you see whoever has access so you can just start to type in whoever has access and you see that there's a John Spade that has access to CV code parts and that's their portal page or if I type in Amazon here you see that we have three users that have access to the Amazon pickup page or not pickup page but portal as well you also have the ability to suspend edit and then delete these users from, from that portal page as well and if you look back up here at the top of the client portal you see that we have five available licenses as well so so the license logic is going to work exactly how it works within the normal admin user um, page to add users and deactivate users the logic is exact, exactly the same so when you see cv code down here at the bottom this is the portal page these are the users that are assigned to that portal page and then you just suspend edit and delete them when needed as well to add users or actually even create a portal page here you're going to start here by clicking on add client user portal page and if i go and search for uh let's see here uh we'll search for amazon is a good one and you, you can even just type two two as well which is really 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 nice here you can see that here okay we have one by judging when you see a logo or an existing logo file name right here you know that there's already been a portal created for them or when you search down here at the bottom on the old clients page page as well to add a user it's really simple you just put it on a first name a last name an email address and then a phone number is optional as well here is where you can select the type of workflow that you want you can either have it start with a purchase proposal so every time that they go and request a asset pickup over here on the right of the portal page that they then have the ability to always go and do the portal or if you want to skip that step and they don't need a purchase proposal for that pickup because they don't want a proposal of their equipment every single time they just want a purchase order click on purchase proposal then next we have the ability to do a light or a dark theme on the right here i have the dark theme turn, turned on right now in my eyes it just seems to be more popular right now uh, and look, looks nicer as well if we do a light theme it looks like what i have here on the left side of the the lighter background as well once you do all this you click save you'll get a green indicator then as well i'm going to go and click save but this user is not going to be able to get added to this portal because this email address has already been used so it's going to give me this error that the email id has already uh, been used or technically exists so we don't allow the same email to be used twice it can only be used once as well next if you go to the uh the client managed portal page, page as well you can pick on the uh portal page that you want to adjust so if you want to change the workflow from purchase order to purchase proposal you, you can as well if you want to change the theme from light to dark you can as well and if you want to adjust the logo as well one thing i do want to point out out as well when it comes to doing the purchase orders or uh for submitting a request of the asset pickup as well is that we don't support notifications at this time and then at this point all you do is click save so now i'm going to go back over here to, to the right and kind of explain what you're seeing on the portal page here is the dashboard you have the ability to pick today's date current week last week last month last year custom date range or all as well and it will then sit, simplify and show you the data on a summarized form over here yeah also if you click on any of these four boxes here you can get the details so i can see okay what are these nine and nine in transit and in transit is going to mean that anything that's in transit shows the status of in transit in in, in iq it also shows the uh partially received so it's going to show you the status right here so you see that i have seven in transit two partially received and then any attachments that belong to this this pickup order which is the po number within iq reseller shows where it's shipping from and then the, the shipping date of when it did ship and then that i know that these are all i can also select if i want to see okay what has been been arrived arrived also works off of the date that was accepted at your dock so when we go to a purchase order back over here at iq reseller and let me pull up the purchase order page now and let's just go to 
let's see here. Here's one for Amazon here. So we have a love funnel three that is still in transit here. A bunch of equipment um, that has started to been worked on as well. And now we go over here and let's see here. Show that there could be some comments that was done. Let's see here. Let me back up here. Uh, additional information. Here would be for the acceptance date means that it's the date that it has hit your dock so it, it'll show under the arrive column and closing date and if we go back to the dashboard here uh, from here it will be then that means that it was closed or processed out as well showing me the current week and there's been no, no pickups currently right now so if we now go back here and we go to let's just do last month because there's a lot of data here now that we know that pending means that these are the pending orders that they are pickup uh, proposals or purchase proposals that, that are pending and waiting for approval in transit is in transit and partially received. Arrive means that you have an acceptance date that it's arrived at your facility and that, that this has a date under the additional information tab of the PO that has been processed and closed. Number of assets will summarize for this week from the 19th to, to, the, to the 25th that I that the facility processed 2,126 assets. So that's the number of assets that, that are on that closed out purchase order. Down here we have value recovery, which will be the, then it will be the extended, um, the extended cost or the purchase cost that's on the purchase order for the, the value recovery of those assets. And we display that within the base currency of the tenant database. So if you're in uh, pounds, it's gonna display in pounds, or if you're in US dollar, it's gonna display in US dollar. So you will want to make sure that, that your, your, your customer understands that as well. Then down here at the bottom is we have the revenue share. So if we go back into a purchase order here on the left-hand side, and if we're looking here, if you have a supplier margin of say 660%, and then you, you're pulling our ITAB reports out of, the, out of the report field here, it's automatically gonna pull the totalized summarized number from this ITAD asset recovery sales report to say that, hey, your share of that 60% of those assets that we sold is you're getting the $78 back as well. So that's where the information comes back from this particular dashboard. Now let's see how it, what happens when, when we go and request a asset pickup. You see here that we are going to pull over the uh, the contact details. So the main contact details for, for this this portfolio, as well as the contact details for the main pickup location. You can select from another address as, as well if you want, or if you don't want that address, you can always do a new, and we can just type in then a new new address here. So we're going to do. We're pick up from Grand Jur right there. And actually already when I populated that one, if I already populated it in there, it's okay. We will put the address in there and we have all this populated already right now. We do have to put a country code and anywhere you see the red asterisk is a required field. You also have uh, the ability to put in comment sections as well. So I put, this is a comment for this demo. And always make sure that you do uh, spell things right. Um, and then you also have the ability to select the file that you want to show as well. So at this point, we're going to say, hey, this is a good good pickup. Let's save the pickup as well. And now once I click save pickup order, it's going to bring me to all of my pending pickups as well that, that I have here. You get the little green notifications that, that you saw right, right there. You also have the ability to view the attachments as well. And now if I go back to the purchase orders here and let's, let's do a quick refresh. And actually I have a purchase proposal. So this workflow shows from proposals first. So if you see that uh, today's date, PO 74, which is set 74 right there, we're gonna say that, hey, here it is. Cause this is the comment for this demo. It automatically created this, this purchase proposal to then start the pickup process for this particular vendor of your, yours as well. If we go to attachments as well, we see there's the attachments. We don't support the notifications though. So when this does get created in your system, there is no notification. So, so please, please be aware of that, that your account management team will always have to be watching that dashboard pay page as, as well. Once this do, does get created, then you can just go and create that to a PO. So say it's been approved and it'll say that PO ha has been, been created as well. So, 
Moving on from the request asset pickup page, once you, you have requested the, or once your vendor has requested a pickup and, and you have picked up, you process it, you probably have to likely send them some reports as well, which is really nice. So we have the ability right here now to link, link up right from the report writer and send reports right to the report writer. So here we're gonna show the file name, the date that it was sent to this portal. You have the ability to download it and then delete it right from here. Um, if you send the same report over and over multiple times throughout the day, so if you want to show some type of inventory list or if there's constant asset reports that you do want to show, then at that time, it's going to not overwrite it, but it's going to create a new record, same file, and then it's just going to put the new date that it's been, it's been modified. So always the... Uh, the newest date will we then show on top. When you log in through the report writer, like I here I have here on my left side of the screen, you could you go right to the scheduler. You're gonna see, okay, we have a report already kind of scheduled that's set up. Setup is super easy. If we go to edit now, you set up the name, how you set up the, the daily occurrence. This one's set to be turned turned off now. You pick the report that you want to pull. And then you click on number three here, you expand it out. And then on the output type, you don't do email or FTP, you do IQ reseller customer portal. You copy and paste the FTP server that, that we have stated in the instructions document for the client portal. And then in capital letters, you put the client or the, the vendor code down here so it knows what portal that it, it goes to. And at this point, you click finish and done. So sending reports to the client portal page is literally that easy. The last thing on the client portal page that we have to offer here is the invoice tab. When I click on the invoice tab, it is now going to pull every single invoice for this particular customer as well. It's going to show the, the invoice number, invoice date, the due date, the, the amount due with the currency that the invoice is in, and then the invoice status as, as well. And then everything for the history of that account as well. We even show voided as well. This is our client pickup page. If you do have any questions or, or want to know how to get this turned on for you, please reach out to us at info.iqreseller.com and we'd be more than half happy to get this turned on for you or just put in a support ticket right to the support center as well. Thank you.